All right. Block party, give it up. <laughs> yes. Hey, so first of all, uh, thank you very much for joining us and playing for KCRW. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. So I, m I mentioned in the intro um, that, you know, we've all got Olympic fever. And, you know, you guys are from London. Yes, we are. How, uh, how's the spirit uh, of the city at, at this time? Well, um, I don't know. I don't know if we're so well qualified to answer that because we left London uh, the day before the Olympics and we get back the day after they finish. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, we haven't, we haven't really seen anything. Well, I haven't seen anything. Uh, you, you haven't been watching at all? Uh, no, no, I, really. I haven't, I haven't, um, because it's, it's too bittersweet when I see the, the gymnasts and the people running, it's like, we should be there, you know? <laughs> Only kidding. Do you have a favourite uh, sport, if you could imagine yourself uh, competing? Yeah, my, if, if I was, uh, my favourite sport, if I was going to compete, it would probably be uh, female bodybuilding. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my favourite sport, that's my favourite sport. <laughs> Sexy. Is that, is that a sport or is that a lifestyle no, it, it's choice? To, it's totally a sport, it's totally a sport. So the new album is uh, called Four, and it is your fourth. Fourth record, yes. Brilliant. Um, how long has it been since Intimacy? Uh, I think it's been four years. Time really flies, doesn't it? Uh, well, yeah, when you're having fun. <laughs> no, um, yeah, it's been four years since Intimacy. It came out in 2009, so, and it's... No, when did it come out? It came out in 2008. Yes. In the yes, yeah. four years. Did you, do you have the sense that the um, time apart <clears throat> kind of helped you all become a better band or maybe appreciate? Hmm. This is, that's an interesting question. Shall we answer honestly, guys? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah I mean, uh, yeah, I think the time apart definitely, you know how it is when you're living and working with people. Uh, it can get a bit intense. I think having a break uh, made us all realise just how much we love each other, really. <laughs> Which is the uh, diplomatic answer. What, what, was there a defining moment where you were ready to get back? Um, I think we probably all have different answers to that, don't we? Um, well, I knew towards the end of 2010 that I missed uh, my bandmates and I wanted to, you know, I was learning, I was, I was touring and I was performing and I was learning a lot about uh, what I do and I thought it would be nice to share it with the people that I started playing with in the first place. How did you um, first kind of begin again? Did you just all get together and so, okay, we're going to set aside some time and start writing again? Yeah, we had this um, crazy night in um, Cancun. <laughs> Where the four of us, um, uh, yeah, I don't know, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't elaborate on that. That's the second song we played, actually. That's what it's about. <laughs> the three, three by three. <laughs> I no. said, Kelly, no, I don't want to be in the band anymore. And he's like, No, now you're one of us. And then yeah. the, the hypnol started kicking in. <laughs> well, there, 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 there were a lot of um, rumors swirling about uh, band what? members being fired, <laughs> the band breaking up, and. It actually are, all turned out to be a ruse. Well, kind of. Um, we're not at liberty to talk about um, that period because we all have our individual lawyers here. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> you, you've signed NDAs. Yeah, so we can't yeah. actually mention it. It's, it's for them. To, they're still working it out. But, su but, but suffice to say, the party line is we're all having a great time, aren't yeah. we, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, in my position, I, I get uh, uh, advanced watermark delivery. I can only listen to it on my laptop. And so I've listened to the record about 400 times today, uh, just preparing. But um, at uh, first listen, I thought, oh my God, this sounds like their metal phase. Seriously, it's like there are a lot of uh, muscular guitar riffs and big solos that seem like a, a little bit of a different direction. Is that, is that accurate or? Is this your metal phase? Our metal phase. Um, yeah, you know, I think it's. I th yeah, I think there are moments of uh, musculature, um, but it's also very tender. I, I, I think it's probably our most. I think some of our most tender songs are on this record, and uh, I don't know. You know, it's it's opposites, isn't it? You have. You know, uh, we we always kind of veer from from opposites. Um, 
veer between extremes. And uh, I see it, I, you know, I guess it is probably heavy, but I see it as our most tender record, our most heartfelt. Yeah, I mean, the, the, there's a real snarl in some of the songs. Like, Three by Three has, has you, I mean, your vocal style is it's a real uh, snarl. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I guess it's quite tough. It's quite hard. I think it's quite hard for us uh, to hear it maybe the way other people hear it, because we have, our, obviously, we all, all have our own memories of making the record and um, you know what we put into it so you know I don't know uh, metal that, that's interesting did you like metal <laughs> <laughs> well I guess I guess you guys will probably be the judge of that when we play some more songs right yeah. Yeah. is this is this metal have any songs started to uh, reveal themselves as either band favorites or fan favorites Okay, looking at this list, what, what is your favourite, Gordon? Team A. Team A, which we haven't played yet, which is a good one. Yeah, I think Team A, that's one that gets... Team A. Yeah, well, they, they all do. They all, people seem to be... It's like the bridge song almost, because it, it turns... It, like, halfway through, it shifts and becomes very heavy, but it, it also is one that sounds most like, kind of, uh, yeah. earlier. Like, rhythmically, it's kind of reminiscent of some of the stuff on Silent Rock. Yeah, Team A, that's the fourth one we're going to play, guys. So you... Uh, Keep your ears peeled for that one. One song I really like on the record is um, Valis or V-A-L-I-S. Yes, Valis, yeah. What, what does that stand for? Uh, what's it stand for? Uh, well, it's the title of a Philip K. Dick book um, that I was reading at the time of writing the record. Uh, and I think it stands for Vast Artificial Life uh, Intelligence something satellite, I think. I think. I, don't quote me on that, uh, guys. <laughs> But it's, it, was a very, it was a very illuminating book that I read during the recording period, and I, I wanted to pay homage to that. Now, I know you just came in from Hawaii, which Hawaii, is yeah. a very nice way to ease into the, the U.S. Um, you're here for the Hard Summer Festival on a Friday. What part you go hard? Which is interesting because that um, event is so much more of you know, el an electronic and a DJ-driven thing. I think maybe the only other band is Little Dragon. Me, Romeo. Me, yeah. Mike Snow. Mike Snow. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Um, but anyway, it is more of a of an electronic thing. The history of it. Sure. But actually, when I was thinking about it, the first single that that I played uh, from you was was Tulips, which in the U.S. was on Dimac Records. Yes, it was. Which is Steve Aoki's label, Buddy. who um, I invited tonight, but he is on a plane to Asia. Um, of course. Yeah. It's funny Someone how. Else. Superstar DJ. <laughs> Superstar DJ now. Um, Good for him. jumping in the air as we speak. He's probably hitting some of you for cake. Yeah, right, he, literally, he literally is in midair. <laughs> you know, these days he, he gets into an inflatable raft and goes out to the crowd. Oh, that's Have you nice. seen that? No, I haven't, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. It's one way of getting close to your fans. Yes. It's very Rammstein. He's a good man. But I, I guess my point is that you've never gone too far from the electronic and the dance culture. It's always been, always been a part of who you are. For sure, for sure. So we look forward to that at uh, Hard. Thank you very much. Now, also, you're at Lollapalooza after that. And then on to, what was that festival? Oshiaga in, in uh, Oshiaga. Montreal. All right, good. Well, listen, thank you again for coming. Thank you for having us. Uh, and uh, let's get into your second set for KCRW. It's Block Party. Woo!